Hi everybody, how are you doing? Hope you are all doing well. I'm trying not to look in the bag that is sitting right here because today's video is going to be another Too Good To Go bag. Um, if you don't know what Too Good To Go bag is, I will just briefly describe you what it is. It is a app on your mobile and what they do is basically sell over leftovers of stores at the end of the day basically so you go on the app there's a plethora of different stores and like cafes and takeaway establishments on there that you can choose from you pay a price and the price depends on the store and sometimes what bag you get um and then you get a certain value of stuff that you can then take home and use slash eat um so let me just double check how much mine was I just want to see so yeah so basically there's a number of different stores on there and they come on throughout the day for normally the next day sometimes if you're lucky you get stuff the same day as well um, and you can mainly get them like at the end of the day but some places do them throughout the day like Pret for example if you've not watched my Pret one I'll leave the link up there or there for you to go check that out because that was the last one I filmed and um yeah i got a lunchtime bag from there and pre do like breakfast lunch and dinner or like afters like later on and so i have done one two three five of these now um first one i did was costa that was the first ever try starbucks i did greg's which was amazing Pret and then today's bag which will all become clear so it's definitely i've had I've had good experiences on the whole one of mine was cancelled and I'll leave the link to the Pratt one because that was the last one to tell you what that was oh I wanted to see how much I paid for it how much did I pay right I paid £3.50 for this bag from where was it Wenzel's so once I, I have done previously Greg's before and Greg's I've never actually been in a Wenzel's before um, it says Wenzel's the Baker's so I assume it's like on the same lines as Greg's there's one in my town there's quite a lot round where I live and I went in experience was great I no one else was in the store I went up to Till I said I've got a too good to go bag and she first she said what one and I was at what um and then she says show me your app and she said right and i saw it said cold bag against it so i was like okay it's that one and then you just swipe and then she just gave me handed me over this massive bag full of stuff which i'm not not looked into and i'm trying not to it is fairly weighty actually so hopefully that is good signs and i paid for this three pound 50 is how much I paid I was just looking on my phone to find out the price it's not the cheapest one I've done and it's not the most expensive one I've done um, Greg's was the cheapest at £2.50 or 49 I can't remember the exact price and that was insane I'll definitely leave the link up there to go check that out because you won't want to miss that one that was a really good bag I'm sorry if I look like orange I'm using some lights today not any in my face because I didn't really want to do that but without further ado I'm going to go through how much stuff I got on my £3.50 too good to go that bag oh my god I can't talk from Wenzel let's have a look inside right this is the cold bag by the way so first thing we've got we've got a ham roll right literally you can't see that but literally just ham okay I don't I don't even know what the menu is at Wenzel's so we shall I'm just gonna do a little Google I've spelt that wrong how do you spell it then I put weasel <laughs> Wenzel's and I'm gonna see if you can um, see prices and stuff on the website so bear with me one second oh it's taking me directly to Deliveroo hmm I didn't want to do that oh that was the first thing I don't want like Uber Eats, I want just their website to see um, if their menu, can I mm, click and collect, let's do that and see, okay you, with click and collect you can, I'm going to have to go 
bear with me, I'm going to have to go on Deliveroo, put my postcode in, uh, what do you mean you don't deliver there? Okay, I'm not going to be able to see prices, but I imagine that isn't that expensive. Um, next thing we've got is the ham and salad on bloomer bread. Choice cut ham with lettuce, tomatoes, cucumber and a light dairy spread. And this is like two sandwiches. Next thing I've got is a cheese roll to go with my ham roll. And next got a flat falafel, I can never say that, with red pepper hummus, falafel with spicy red pepper hummus, pickled red cabbage and baby spinach wrapped in a beetroot tortilla. Now I got a falafel thing in um, the previous one, and oh my god, the last thing in this bag is a massive piece of bread, this is just our bread makes the sandwich, it is, that's insane, wow okay, that is insane, I am probably going to, at the weekend we're having like a big family get together, so I'm going to take this, and we can use that for bits and bobs, so what did I get, one, two, three, four, can I count, three, four, five things for £3.50, um, these ones I am literally going to eat now, not sure about this to be honest does it have sell by date on 25th does this have a sell by date i don't think so hmm. okay that was an interesting bag actually um it seems like they've got quite plain food in terms of like you just get a, a roll and a sandwich like cheese and then a roll but yeah <laughs> okay but they do do things like this. I don't know. I'll have. I don't know any of the prices either. But I imagine that was more than three pound fifty worth of stuff. It does say. Let me just have a look. How? Because you do get when you go on the app, um, and you see they've got stuff already to for collect tomorrow, um, which is really good. Then it's worth ten pound fifty. So I would say that's true ish don't know how much that massive piece of bread is but all in all that's not a too shabby bag really so I'm fairly happy with that and that's literally going to be my dinner those things so that isn't too bad in my opinion so yeah that was today's too good to go bag I do I keep saying I'm well I'm off I've got a week off soon so I do want to try and do a few that I might not be able to do like if I'm not if I'm at work so there's a few on my list that I want to do I want to do Cafe Nero although the one in my town doesn't seem to do it anymore but there are some nearby I want to do Toby Carver because that looks insane to do uh, Leon I want to do and I do want to try and do ow my finger do um, Pizza Hut because that would be amazing however I don't you'd have to you have to go at like half no, half 11 at night to go get it and I don't really fancy doing that because normally I'm asleep by that point but um yeah there are a few that are definitely doable that are near me that I will try and do and then get those out because I am trying to do one of these once a month that is my plan I think I've done well this one is a bit um close to the previous one I did which was the Pratt one which I'll leave linked up there um, but I just wanted to get this out because I wanted to try it and there we go that's what how that happened but hopefully I will do more soon the next one will be in April as I said I'm trying to do one a month and then we're going to like my standard videos in a month now are going to be uh, a food haul like grocery haul, Vista Village, vlog, come shop with me Primark come shop with me and a too good to go bag. There'll be my one of those will be one every week. 
in a month basically so yes if you, that is your kind of jam and you like this kind of video definitely stick around and subscribe we're on the road to 2000 it would be really good if we could get there that would be great um, and let me know what your experiences are of too good to go down below what restaurant slash takeaway slash food establishments have you tried let me know in the comments down below because I would love to hear what your experiences are like have you tried the Wenzel's ones if you've got Wenzel's in your area and what you've received in your bag that would be great to hear um, and if you've tried any others and what your best one has been it's really fun to do you get a lot of food like Greg's was amazing when I did that and I'll leave that linked up there for you to go watch because definitely check that out because that was insane um, and I've had good mostly good experiences with it and the things I've got it's always obviously going to be a potluck what you're going to get and whether you like that type of thing but it's definitely worth a go it's a bit of fun um and you can get quite a good amount of food for cheap so and we're saving the planet um and not we're getting food to go to waste so yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you're not already please take that time to subscribe down below and also follow my instagrams down below as well they're always linked down there and that would be great so yeah i'll leave you to it now thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye